Hello, in this example I will show you PID control of a robotic uh, gripper uh, that is actuated uh, by this uh, DC motor. Uh, the DC motor is uh, modeled uh, using Simulink uh, blocks um, and the robotic gripper is uh, modeled in SOLIDWORKS and uh, imported here. Uh, this is how it looks. 3D visualization of the uh, robotic gripper is this. So uh, we want this uh, gripper to open. Uh, uh, we are using that uh, by giving a step function. So the step function uh, should start at uh, 0 0.1 seconds and its uh, value, its amplitude uh, will be 0 0.015 uh, so uh, that signal goes into this sum block uh, and uh, comparing uh, to the uh, pos actual position of the of the gripper it uh, goes that error into the PID uh, controller uh, that we should uh, first uh, tune its uh, parameters uh, here. Uh, after that, uh, that signal goes into the into this uh, control voltage source, and uh, uh, through this uh, DC motor uh, block here, it uh, it is converted to. Uh, rotational motion that we are tracking on this scope and that rotational motion is converted into prismatic translational uh, motion through this uh, wheel and axle block and that one is sent to the robotic model here in this cylindrical joint here that is uh, actuating the uh, gripper and we are also tracking the position, the velocity and the acceleration of the gripper and that values actually the position, the current position is uh, compared to the uh, needed uh, position from the step signal and into the PID control and that's uh, how the loop works. So we need uh, first to uh, tune the PID control here we will use this uh, PID tuning tool so we need uh, we can uh, see that the rise time and the settle time are here really big so we want to prove that we can just tune that manually here we can even set it like this 0 0.2 seconds and we can also tune these parameters here this one looks good so it's got like rise time uh, 0 0.12 seconds, settle time 0 0.98 seconds, overshoot 11.8%. Uh, so we like these parameters. Uh, these are the parameters for the PIND uh, gains. So we accept them and now we can see how it looks. This is the scope for the actual uh, position of the gripper. This is the scope from the uh, motor. Here we have a displacement, uh, radian per second and uh, the current that goes into the uh, controlled uh, voltage source. So here's the simulation. Here is the step function, and we are tracking that.
so it got some overshoot the actual size but it eventually it settles to its desired position Now I will show you how the system will uh, respond to the signal generated by this pulse generator here which has uh, amplitude of 0 0.015 uh, and um, period of 1 second with a pulse uh, width of uh, 50%. This is how the system will perform uh, with the sine wave uh, signal.